Pastor Chulim shared, it's very important for us to know the mission, why we are here. You know, it is, and this is actually the mission statement of the Seventh Day Adventist Church. It changed very little, maybe a couple of wordings from the General Conference, Inter American Division, and Union, and of course, our local field. So, if anyone wants to go with me to read it, it's okay. It says to glorify God and under the influence of the Holy Spirit, lead every convert to experience a personal and transforming relationship with Christ, enable the believer to become a disciple in sharing the everlasting gospel with everyone. That is our mission, that under the influence of the Holy Spirit, with his transforming power, we could share the gospel to the, to the people, to everyone. That is our mission, that is our goal. And I took this out of the church manual under the communication, um direct their directions okay it says we must take every justifiable means of bringing what it says there light before the people we must take any justifiable needs it doesn't matter what or how we could do for example i think i don't know if it was mr montejo that during the um, campaign for pastor samuel he did a I fell in love with it. A beautiful TikTok message to the youth. I thought that was so wonderful. And that is what Ellen G. White is talking about. She says, every justifiable means to bring light before the people. And that is our mission to be a light. Let the press be utilized on those times. You know, we had to use a lot of paper and let every advertisement agency be employed that they, that will call attention to the work. It doesn't matter. No, we could say press, we could say Facebook, we could say YouTube, we could say TikTok, WhatsApp. We could say any means that we have. It could be even, um, we wanted to do a shirt. It could be a t-shirt. It could be any means that we could have, but that it will bring light to the world. Means, will be devised to reach hearts some of the methods used in this work will be different from the methods used in the past a pastor i was talking in my office yesterday with a pastor and he told me miss i want to tell you something he said before we used to use a lot of tents you know and and and, and miss we would go for it and many people would pop those tents and the gospel would be reached he said but miss you know what i have discovered now that we need to use different ways to reach the people different ways and that is why we are here this afternoon that is why we want to begin a journey of training our communication directors of our churches pastors whoever want to be trained so that we could be prepared, that we could use whatever methods, whatever means, whatever resources to be able to preach the gospel in different ways, reaching different people, but sharing the everlasting gospel, like what Pastor Chilin was saying, the angel's message. This is just shortly the communication um a uh, uh, goal uh, i would say of the general conference is as adventists help their friends understand the bible they are sharing the hope that can only be found in jesus this is the communication and the communication department it says here that we must provide the tools that's why we are here today the tools for the church institution and members so that they could share the whole. That's why we want, and we want to encourage you, if you have a friend, if you have another church friend that is a leader in communication, they're not here. If you could send to them, wake them up, they're probably resting. Tell them to come and join in. It says here, phones, apps, websites, social media channels, video, programming, and gaming, fuse the news, reporting, and press release to reach audiences inside and outside that Adventist church. Because that's really what we want to do. We want to reach people inside, but we want to reach people outside. It says the goal is to provide effective and inviting means for the people to get, 
to know Jesus Christ. That is real our purpose. And the Inter-American Division, I think you all already heard that mention, their mission is building bridges of hope. You know, we are the ones who stand in the gap. We are the ones who are building those bridges through our social media, through a video, through uh, whatever we have to be able to share the gospel. And it says there the purpose, and Pastor Chulim already said it. I will not go through that. It says the desire, effective effect in our mission and activities is to create a favorable image of the church. So that people, and, and now when I read that, I understand what Miss um, Ellen, she always emphasized, she said, Miss, when we say Belize Union, you know, it must be an image that project what we want to share. And that, that what we want to share is Jesus, his love. We want to share the salvation that he has offered. It says a favorable image of the church is mission life and activities and to be a witness in order that many may follow Christ. The same thing that when we look at it is the same thing and our goals we have here in the Belize Union 138 sorry local church and groups we have I think it's like 104 churches and the rest are groups. So we want to train all hundred here we know we have 31 including us. So you know, we have less than a third, maybe 20%. So we need to make sure that we could get this message across. Help the pastor. This is another one. Help the pastors, the program, the church to complete the mission. Pastor, pastors that are here, that's why we are begging you. I don't know how to know I use that word. We are encouraging you to name that person in the church because we want to train them and you will see how much easier your work will be when you want to do a campaign, when you want to do a week of prayer, when you want to reach people, that communication person with, with their team in the church will help you accomplish your goal. Share the gospel. Keep the members involved. I'm trying to go quick and we're almost finishing. I found this and I, I said I was gonna put the website where I found it because it's not good to take things from people and not acknowledge them, not give them credit. Why do we need the communication department in our church? The first one, your work has valuable external impact. And I think probably, I don't know if Ms. Ellen will brush up a little bit on that. Corporate, social media, the media and the news. Okay, all of this we use to have that external impact into the world that they will know that Jesus is coming soon. The second one, to ensure that everyone stays informed. It doesn't matter which crisis we have or what we have. That communication person is that person when, when the pastor says when they get the program, okay, we'll have a week of prayer. Um, we have in Global Youth Day, they are sharing information, they are getting the message out there, they are encouraging people so that all the church could join in. I don't know about you all, but I know we have the problem. There's an event last Friday night, we had a beautiful, beautiful event. How many people knew about it? I think very little. So we need for you that is here today, we need you well, Ning will talk about that, to join in the group so that we could share all the information and we could keep our church informed. It says, um, the other one, they creatively connect with different audiences. And those little two people, they're not dancing, at least <laughs> what I, I, I thought about it, but what it's really doing is sharing the love of Christ. You know, they creatively, and of, they connect the people in such a way that they are sharing the love of Jesus. And that is when we get the stories, what Christ did in your life, the story that Christ did in your life. And those stories, we get them together and we share them with the members, with our community, with the world. And we get people to learn to love Christ and see that Jesus is real. 
Why do we really need the communication department? Anyone could answer me based on what I said. Why do we really need the communication department? Anyone? I can't see you all, but maybe someone could answer. We have some little books, by the way. We, we want to give out. Anyone? Anyone out there? <laughs> Hello? Hello? Okay, Miss Sharon. Sharon Mejia raise her hand. Go ahead, Miss. Why do we want, why do we need a communication department? Can't hear you, you're muted. Okay. <clears throat> yes, um, we need the communication department because the pastors and leaders cannot do everything. So if there are people who are communicating, you know, getting messages out, like you said, getting information across, then that will help to forward the, um, the message of Christ's soon return. And it will help to grow the church even and to strengthen the brotherhood. Okay, amen, amen. Well, Ms. Sharon, you, you... We can share a little book with you. I don't know which mission you belong to, but we will share that with you. We owe you a little book. And you I can, just want Sister Maxine, you can give it to my pastor. Pastor oh, Angela. Pastor Angela is my pastor. Oh, okay. Good, good. So, Rila, Rila, it is all about Jesus. It is all about sharing the love of my Savior. That is all about getting all the information, getting people informed, sharing it externally, sharing it internally, doing things so that everyone could know the love of Jesus. And what is the role? I'll go quickly. The church, I got here several pictures. The, char the church, the mission and the union. And then this is just a resume of what it is all about. The church shared information to the mission, the mission to the union, the union to the division. And after that, it reaches the world, it reaches our neighbor, and together we are sharing the love of Christ. And I just conclude by sharing with you all this, this quote. Probably you might say, well, miss this, do go with it, but I love it from the first time I found it. Proverbs 13, 17, an unreliable messenger stumbles into trouble, but a reliable messenger brings healing. And brothers and sisters, that's what we are here for, to bring healing to our world, to bring healing, to bring salvation, to bring the love of Christ to the world. So may God bless us this afternoon as we learn more of how to communicate, how to share the love of Jesus Christ.